Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Can I get a beat? Yeah. Hey, yo, y'all know this rap room square. My style's disgusting, like the bathroom here. Yo, that's the deal. Watch your idol just rock. How am I gonna lose to Michael J. Fox? It's not gonna happen. Come on, dog. Know that he's mush. This style's stupid, like voting for Bush. And man, I'm surprised he can spit. Cause this motherfucker's the size of my dick. Come on, dog. It's fucking just simple. How you gonna battle me? You only up to my nipple, man. has always been competitive. Even if you're not actually dissing somebody, you want to make the best song and you're in a battle for space on the charts. Like, it's a battle, it's a competition. So I think that that competitive nature is what drives hip hop. Battles to me, I mean, it's a sport, yes. But I look at it as a fight. Yeah. When you're on stage and there's all that pressure on you to come up with something spontaneous that's gonna shut this shit down, I think that it sharpens your reflexes. Like holding a mirror and pointing out the biggest inadequacy about someone in the most clever way possible. I've been battling for as long as I've been rapping, you know what I mean? Like, it's always been a part of it for me. Stupid motherfuckers use the word wicked to describe me when that reflects their own racism and ignorance of fine speech. You think I always wish I was black? Dog, you got it twisted. It's kind of convenient to be a honky that's mobbing a Honda Civic. And I never in life claimed I was hip hop or I was born real. I'm one of them white boys like Flip Dog that Crip walks in the cornfield. I'm from Oakland, Cali. <laughs> home of the Black Panthers, and it's more than a whack trend. And I didn't j have to join a black fraternity to get my ass some black friends. Ooh. This motherfucker ain't got no heart in the tussle because he ain't seen no part of the struggle. He went to Harvard with his father and his aunt and his uncle. <laughs> he, ain't never, he ain't never been on the block trying to harness a hustle. He was at the debutante ball doing the Carlton Shuffle. Oh. Bravo! He's gonna crunk to Tom Jones. And he wants those blonde hoes when he fucks black chicks, they do not moan. You you're a freaking queer. Get your rich bitch ass back to Windermere so you can get fucked in the rear by Richard Gere. Oh. Right on, you punk ass faggot. Battling is a way for an MC to stay sharp, you know what I mean? Like, like I got this crown on my head full of diamonds of every single skull I chopped off of another rapper, you feel me? Cats would challenge, just start dissing and battling and capping on each other, and then like, I just kind of learned to do it from there. It was like one of my earliest exposures to rhyming, really, you know, firsthand. Put your underground for your large baguettes Till your underarms leave your shirt marked with sweat You're marked for death, I'm an architect Because I'm building this, y'all feeling this ill lyricist Making a pilgrimage to the home of hieroglyphics I'm so sick, blowing up like nitroglycerin, yeah Because I hustle the birds Every day a million customers served up in the turf Where they stir crazy for moving the work, baby Got your lady, all to the knees like a church lady Make her baby, so don't get life twisted I'm breaking Skrilla like the red light district that's how i do it i'm chilling with no can of the source yeah i'm giving suckers rigor mortis when i'll be ripping this i'm killing the track old town yeah silver and black gorilla mad and i'm a rapper this is what i do i'm nice i want to be dope it made me not afraid to lose you know not afraid to just be up in front of motherfuckers that don't know me and fucking just like put my put my you know my balls out on the line 
One battle, if it's a major battle, could give you far more exposure than uh, perhaps a small tour could. I mean, you could do a small tour and maybe only 10 people show up to each show, 20 people to each show. If you did 10 shows, that's you know, 200, 300 people. You could go to a, a big battle and there's 2,000, 3,000 people, not to mention um, all the exposure you're gonna gain uh, on the internet too. So. That's why I stick with the battle scene, and I mean, that's why I stick with the battle scene. You don't deserve to be stepping in this fight. I'm gonna make this shit the worst 30 seconds of your life. This guy's acting all cocky. Yo, Rokusaki, motherfucker, you don't know karate. Yo, I'm only gonna remove your body. After that, I'll leave your ass drowned at the bottom of a porta potty. That's what you get when I come off the top. What he likes to do, he likes to suck my cock a lot. When I rip the mic, watch whose buttons you push. No one likes you like George W. Bush. I started with like some low key stuff, like Santa Cruz, kind of stuff that was close to home for me. I just was always kind of like a comedy freestyler, punchliney freestyler, so I figured it was something I was cut out for. Well, I'm the best, and that's one hell of a motto. It's an MC against Nelly Furtado. No matter what the hell you can pull your hair long, you're just gonna be the next faggot for me to tear on. So now I'm gonna put an end to this dude. He's so skinny, Somalians are sending him food. Oh my God, this is just cop bro. You cannot rock dope. No one's really said anything about it almost, you know what I'm saying? People kind of know there's certain cats from the West Coast or whatever, but I don't think people realize that it's, it's, there was a whole scene over here and the whole you know, movement as far as battling goes and shit, so. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even really describe it as like me getting involved in it or any of these guys getting involved in like a pre-existing movement or whatever. It was kind of, it kind of developed as we developed. Battles take place at a lot of different places in the country and we see them on the internet and we see them through different mediums that are not region specific. And I think it took people like a little while to realize like, oh, a lot of these guys are from the West Coast. Well, officially, you know what I'm saying? Like that's a term that I started throwing around around 2005, you know what I mean? But really, that's like something that I got from listening to old Project Blow, the AC Alone records. You always used to shout out Fresh Coast. But it's pretty much a bunch of battle rappers and rappers that, or you know, that did battle and battle enthusiasts that have this certain, this certain style. Fresh Coast movement, as we like to call it, pretty much just is our whole scene, which was spawned from the very competitive battle scene out here in California. I think the Fresh Coast movement is just an assortment of battle MCs who just came together. Um, all said, you know, these dudes are pretty dope, all pretty much get along really well, and have just created a, a certain subset, genre, style that's very recognizable and it's concentrated in the same region. Every time and do it on purpose, but I come to outside and see MCs, how I hurt this. Oh, oh. how I hurt this. From my mouth, it's perfect. Rappers know that they were dope back then, and now they're I worthless. Oh. I guess that means they lost their value. So what would actually allow you to step into the cypher only for me to outstyle you? Oh. Well, that would have to happen. I never spit the wackest rapping. I'm a rolling stone who's punching you for satisfaction. Oh. I don't know if that's a hit song. Oh. I will uh, hit bongs and then make you laugh just like a sitcom until you get dissed on. Oh, I got a fucking middle yo, finger that you can yo. rotate and sit on. Now I
like the West Coast battle scene is probably the most, if not one of the most um, competitive battle circuits like in the nation or like in the world even. Everybody has already won hella championships and wrecked hella crews and wrecked hella MCs. Being from the Southeast, you know, we always had a respect for the West Coast. But there was always a looming danger in battles. Like, yeah, you, you had your New York cats, but you had a lot of Fresh Coast cats. Like, a, a good grip of dudes that you always knew that if you were ever in a major battle, like, you knew there was certain people that you had to always be ready for. So everybody, I mean, it's like I said, everybody is under the same umbrella, but we have different interpretations of what it means to just be a good spitter. I, I like the swag over there. I think it's more like... Like they're more in a comedic stance. Like I don't say here, like everybody's trying to be hard, but I noticed over there, cats are having more fun with it.